Well hello, it's your old mate Dave Spencer yet again and fingers crossed we're going to do better here than I did at Stockport this morning. We are in Ashton under Lyme and a chance to see some little gems amongst <laughs> we shall see what we shall see and I'm expecting really good things of Ashton and I've parked my little jalopy up at Marks and Spencer's Oblique Sainsbury's and I found out about that last time I was here trying to find a proper car park and they, they don't really seem to exist because <laughs> everybody parks here so that's great isn't it welcome along always love to have your company and we're at the early stage of September 2022 and uh, weather's a bit sunshine and clouds a little bit tricky and that's why I haven't come too far from home but we'll see how I get on we'll probably have a chat along the way and if not I'll see you all at the end how's that so now for now here while we wait for the lights to uh, change. <laughs> Goodness me. A bit chronic, isn't it? No, uh, no priority for the buses. Although uh, I'm sure the tram gets it. What about the buses then, mate? Oh, I think we might be starting Memories of GMT evoked by the little uh, jam livery. And uh, Ashton's the uh, top place for uh, getting them. One of the last places you see <laughs> that much uh, difference from uh, the big boys. I think before 
over in Stockport. Ashton, of course, served by Metrolink trams. I took a still photograph or two when I was walking down from Marks and Spencers, stroke Sainsbury's, which is where you uh, can park for three hours. I think, I think I might have mentioned that before, but uh, there you go. You get to my age, you do start repeating yourself. Did I tell you about how difficult it is to park it? Yes, Dave, you've done, you've done that twice now. Okay. Last time it was an issue, I wasted a whole load of time messing about, at least this time. I knew exactly where to go. Well, I didn't know exactly where to go, but uh, I managed to uh, find it. I followed the tram tracks. <laughs> oh, Dave, you are a one. Well, there you go. I might be a two, three and four as well. I think it's a, a driver changeover spot here. Stops away. Behind the uh, transport for Greater Manchester van. Everybody's waiting for the lights.
got a lot of cars around. Anyway, way past lunchtime now. Um, but we're not really that close to it being going home time. But one thing in our favour should be, I think schools are back today. And um, either today or tomorrow, I've seen sort of the uh, kids seem to be at school. It's hard to tell these days, isn't it? Goodness me. You don't know where they lock them up. Actually, when you're getting older, it can be quite frightening when you get those gangs of these kids out and about at lunchtime. Very intimidating, some of them. Of course, they're all so big. Everybody's bigger now. I see a little gem. In yonder distance. Before that, we got a touch of the old firsts from Oldham. Always very friendly at Oldham. Oops, stops pulling over, isn't it? Nice just changing his lanes to be right for me Gem coming down the other way. Well, despite the changeable conditions, the temperature has not been bad at all today. When I uh, drove from Stockport to Ashton, it was about 23 degrees.
traffic uh, is getting a little bit more intense now. This lady's uh, boarded, right? I think she'll be away as well. But uh, stops down there and uh, first behind. I have to have a bit of a wait for the lights to change. The gentleman here in a new Holland tractor taking his tractor for a day down the shops. Another line of traffic coming in. Not really sure what's happening. I, uh, the light should have changed by now. Now everybody's starting to uh, beat their horns. Well, one did. A little bit of mini road rage. Yes, we've got a we've got an away signal. Chops away. As I used to say, the old uh, Aria, in the days when one had chops, had chops on buses as well. They had lots of different names as well. They managed to keep correspondence in classic bus about chops going for several months, as they do in such an esteemed publication. Highly recommended, and one of the few uh, bus journals that I spend any time studying. I, uh, I mainly like the pictures, but there you go. Well, we've uh, nearly got to that uh, golden hour, haven't we? It's taken a bit of doing to get there. Hasn't been easy. But then some things in life, if they're worth while doing, it doesn't matter whether they're easy or not. I'm stopped, isn't it? Easy getting round that corner, is it? Deary me. Oh, nice uh, friendly lady stagecoach driver the way. First, next. Perhaps uh, get this one under our belt and then I can bid my farewells to all you good folk who have joined us. So this is your old mate Dave with you once again and we managed to get there in the end, it took a bit of doing, we struggled a little bit at both Stockport and Ashton. Anyway I'm on my way back to the car, perhaps get a brew in at Marks and Spencers, I've got about an hour parking left there. It's been great having you along with us, it always is, we always welcome your company on our adventures and as we get to this part of the proceedings, it's bye for now. Stay well, stay safe, be good. And if you can, try and be nice to others because it doesn't cost anything and it helps everybody feel a bit better when they're under pressure these days. So, uh, God willing, we're all going to meet up again in the very near future for another one of our transport adventures. And uh, until then, from me, for now, Yes, it really is. Goodbye. See you all next time. Bye.